communication do not have boundaries as a media person what we try to do or as a media platform what we try to do is get the messages reach across the world that is what naren supramanyam who was there in perth australia have seen about spb machine and today i am having with his, him his father specially he instructed his father to come to bangalore to ifex to see what is it this spb is all about and uh, subramaniam sir uh, welcome to the stall of rhino machines uh, in ifex and he wanted to know that you know how this spb machine is working which i am going to explain to him before that what is it that you and uh, your son is actually doing i think you people are also doing some work which to change from waste to wealth right yes yes essentially his aim is to make waste uh, wealth from waste eh? so as we are all aware that all plastic uh, kind of material we generate day to day both in house as well as in industry so this plastic is managed getting piled up everywhere right now in australia what is being pra practiced is most of the thing goes to the landfill remaining things so to certain extent they are also processing it but they show lot of interest if somebody can come forward and uh, give a solution for plastic accumulation how that can be uh, process and then uh, so that you uh, both are mutually benefit there. so plastic is a world problem yes. anywhere you go even we have seen in sea uh, many people throw that now the fish also what we eat is having plastics again what the manish kotari the social innovator what he says is plastic is not the problem it is how we manage the plastic is yes. the is a real issue so what happened so here the uh, plastics can be uh, you know it is not just it can be managed you can also make money through the uh, waste plastic but all this started if you can see that rhino machines is basically a technical company started by rc kotari they also had patented for co2 sand uh, you know uh, sand reclaiming machine they had, they they hold the uh, patent also so they are having mold making machines so sand handling system was one of the uh, strength they had but one of the biggest problem like plastics what the foundries had is the sands become waste it becomes dust and it is so dusty and it can go into your lungs it's so so this was a problem which the industry had so he came out with this machine this is speed inter interpretive in between while i get yeah. some doubts yes yes okay basically what is sand is made up of that is our natural sand is yes, used silicon silicon and no 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 Na sand is our normal sand okay added with certain chemicals and okay. used to develop uh, molds okay big molds okay. where Uh, the mold making machine is there from there through the sand they make the shape and inside the metal is poured okay now once that process is over the sand becomes uh, you know you cannot use it we cannot it also will go on landfill like plastics yeah it will create trouble so again you are creating a waste so after making mold you will be you end up in making waste and then how how do you how do you go about it those waste sir. so the those sands they have made you know thermal uh, sand reclamation okay. so they have they have already experts in that okay. they have machines where they have started reusing that okay. but again after everything there is waste you cannot stop it right so there is the fine waste so uh, this is the uh, the first waste which is coming out from there they processed and they made the s1 sand this s1 sand is used and also through thermal reclamation they made virgin sand again this is the sand virgin sand and this dust you if you put the hand you need to wash with soap so so nice and it can go so it's a biggest trouble for health it can go in lungs so this was a problem what these people faced okay. and that is where he developed this innovation okay now what he is doing is so you have seen i will show you sir one second so this is the uh, what you were looking for actually you are coming here so that this is a machine okay. where you can put the plastic okay. you can just put the plastic into the just put it nothing no problem see it is it is gone so this comes all means that the plastic is here right from there now is it all as it done as now ha uh, now you can see here a lot of sacks are there in which this is the foundry okay sand waste okay. which i have shown that very means product and here you can see this uh, he is fixing mixing both the plastic and the sand waste 
plastic means uh, the plastic the minced plastic okay what i am asking is is it a virgin plastic or a mixed plastic any plastics there is no problem the pla- you know when you uh, process the waste plastics you need to remove the cap you need to remove the plastic label you need to change here nothing you can just put anything there and that includes uh, uh, grp also sir anything see i am i am not a technical person i know this much if there is any kind of plastics you can put it okay so okay. you don't have to change it uh, here one bit what temperature you do it like that you crushing it literally you are crushing is it not we are literally crushing it. okay what temperature it is uh, happening in there okay the uh, room temperature okay but uh, room temperature by it is cutting into small small pieces or uh, what is happening here it is mincing it if you can see that you see that it is becoming like a dust okay and now that whatever minced plastics if you can see so this is the stuff it's so thin okay. it is mixed with the foundry sand okay 30% plastic 70% foundry base sand and this is mixed and this is called loam okay this is the mix which is in this process you got it and this is the this becomes the product which goes in this mold they take it can you just put it there now here what is happening he is waiting now Okay. Wait, how much weight is there, okay. and, and how many grams should go here? Abi, one seventy gram. Ah, abhi one thirty seven gram hai. Okay. It should make one seventy gram. Okay. And then he keep. This is a mold where he will make one product in seconds. This is reading in kg or uh, yes, sir. Kg. Yeah. You are telling one thirty seven gram. One thirty. That whether it is many gram or gram. No gram, gram, gram. gram. What is happening here? So th- this is mixed. Okay. The uh, plastic, whatever is minced, which became very minute, thirty percentage. Okay. With seventy percentage, the foundry base. Okay. Both is mixed as a loam. Okay. Now this loam, is is the uh, you know raw material which happens goes directly to make the product. You can see the one seventy gram is taken. Now he is putting all these things there. Looks like a sponge type of thing. Yes, yes. Once the machine starts, it is continuous. But otherwise, once you start in the beginning, so it will it may take some twenty minutes, thirty minutes to uh, start the process. Now, uh, does it emit any emission in this? No. This process? No. So this is very hot. Okay. So this is the product. Okay. Done. Okay. So this is the machine. So it's a live demo. What you are able to see. Okay. Here also this is another uh, machine. Okay. How many gram goes in this? कितना gram इसपे जाता है? Four fifty five gram. The same loam is put inside this. So this is. Made. Now, this have high durability. Like we say, plastic, plastic will not go for 500 years. It will not. So it's a problem. Now, this you got a product which can stay for years or decades. Where, where it finds its use. So now this is a port. Okay. This is a flower port. Okay. And if you can come and see, so this is a switchboard. Okay. You can see in this also. This is a switchboard made by this. Okay. Same way, you have different different products they can create. You see, you can make beautiful cubes. So, this is something what we can create with these kind of materials. This is all, but you need to understand. It is not about be- becoming waste. This was creating trouble for Mother Earth. This was creating trouble for people. Now there is a solution for it, through which you can create new things. Where it finds its use now. Where it finds its use. So, or who is buying from you? Once you made this, no. somebody is buying. You can... yes, see, they all they themselves have this brand called Mimansa, okay. where they are selling these yeah. uh, ports and all those things. Okay. And if you can see downside, the silicon uh, blocks, what you are able to see here. Okay. This is also made through this. Okay. Yeah. What is the property of this? What is the speciality in this? Well, it is uh, durable. You are telling. It water resistant. Water resistant. What resistant? Yeah. Okay. So basically, what I am telling is, what is the ingredients which is gone? The plastics. Okay. You have seen that thirty percentage, and that sand, okay. which was a trouble, is gone. And these are the two uh, okay. mixing, and you got from where a product in a different things. And now we need to we can think and 
through this loam which is a raw material what are products you can make you can make stools you can make to the base of the stool right okay so there are a lot of application we can make it uh, made uh, it has to meet some standards you know like a durability in terms of uh, shear strength or whatever uh, whatever you have. it will have it's uh, its own strength how, do you, how it is comparable with the material of equivalent so as i told you this is a new innovation okay now the company rhino and the innovator social innovator manish kotari he is already uh, working with many uh, industries iim okay iits and uh, they are coming out with whatever you are asking so definitely there are a lot of other uh, you know testing they have done but that the company will be able to i will be connecting you to someone in this to all the technical people who will be able to give you more details but i know that they are star- they are working with iit madras and um, they are trying to bring whatever questions you are asking so that industry or the government can use it in a very big way these products so they are working on that okay okay well. so how do you f- see you came all the way from chennai okay. and how to find this concept concept is, seems to be very good actually it is encouraging and uh, you are fi- you are giving solution straight away whatever waste is being generated in uh, foundries and other thing and you say that this is the thing can be used very effectively by mixing with some plastic waste so that you are able to take care of both the foundry sand as well as the plastic but you have tested uh, you have come across all kinds of plastic there is no hurdle at all the kind of, the, there is no hurdle. there is no challenge there is no challenge i want to tell you one thing okay for rhino machines the company which is having their stall the business of this spb or this is not even one percentage of their business their business comes from something else okay. but you can see their focus right now is to building products or com- bringing solution for the society bringing solution for the community and that is the cause which made naren his son in perth australia to send his father here to see this innovation yeah yeah definitely definitely you going to we, we find it is really amazing that the things you have started in from the scratch and you are able to make something useful out of it that should be greatly appreciated thank you thank you very much for coming yeah. and i hope your collaboration with manish happens and yeah. it also helps not only in india it helps people in australia also yeah definitely because australia being more uh, environmental conscious so they encourage a new kind of things that if you if can find a solution you can have a marketing there also uh, through narena cops thank you thank you there we should build our partnership it should not end with this by looking at the exhibition it should be continued forever mutually both should be benefited that is what we wish you wish you and manish for thank you thank you very much thank you